It finally happened. Elementor got an SEO widget built right into Elementor as built by Rank Math. Rank Math is my favorite SEO plugin right now for various reasons. I've got tutorials coming out in the future about that. But this one shows you the integration with Elementor. So we can do SEO right inside the page builder, which is way more convenient than any, any previous method that we had up until now. And this is brand new, this feature, as of this recording. And I'm going to show you all about it. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we're getting started on this one right now. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to go into the specifics of how to use all the SEO technology and features inside Rank Math with Elementor. That'll be a later tutorial. For this one, I just want to make you aware that this has now happened. This is available as of today, as of this recording. And you can now do your SEO work right inside the Elementor page builder. Two things you have to have on your site to make this work. One is the free Rank Math plugin. If we go to install plugins on this little demo site here, Rank Math SEO, free, that has to be installed. And either Elementor Pro or just Elementor Free. Works on both of them. And now when you go into Elementor, once you have the plugin, the Rank Math plugin installed, Elementor plugin installed and activated, we now have an SEO tab inside of all of your Elementor pages. Click on it, and now we have all of the SEO features and functions that would normally be below a post inside of Gutenberg or the Classic Editor it is now right here in this Elementor panel, which is pretty awesome. There's the ability to edit snippet, which you see right here. Click on Edit Snippet, and you can change the title, the permalink, the description, there's a preview of how the post will look on social media, on Facebook here, Twitter here. This is where the featured image will go. This post currently does not have one, so we just have this placeholder page or placeholder image. And we also have the mobile appearance of our snippet. So we can customize that there. We can add a focus keyword. And since this is a product page, this is called products up here. Let's just type in products. And this could be your focus keyword, not a good one, because it would be highly competitive and very non-specific. Anyway, we're not going to get into how to pick keywords right now, but these suggestions that you see here are being pulled in through your Rank Math account from Google. So when you install the plugin, the Rank Math plugin, you have a free account on the Rank Math website. You connect the two. When you connect them, you can now pull in information like this for other suggested keywords. In SEO Yoast, you can only have one focus keyword. In Rank Math, you can have up to five for the free versions. The premium version of Yoast allows you to have more focus keywords, but Rank Math for free allows up to five. So I'm just going to use products. Not, not a good one, but I'm going to choose that. We can choose this as a pillar post, meaning this is an important post on the site. That's going to be the target of a lot of internal linking for when Rank Math is suggesting internal links. We have our SEO checklist right here. It says here we're using our focus keyword in the title. We're not using it in the description. So let's just add it in there. Let's just add in right here, products, and see what it says. It's updated, now it's in the description, now it's happy. Real-time update from X to a check. So you basically go through this list, you try to get as many check marks as you can. You don't have to have them all checked, but you try. You wanna make your content natural, What's really important for SEO these days is that your content is natural, it's readable, it provides the reader with what they want, and then Google will provide you with what you want, which is higher rankings. Rankings these days really come down to two things. The click-through rate on the SERPs, on the search result page, and the amount of time spent by your visitors on a page, which indicates how good the content is. So if you can have a high click-through rate and a long time on page, your content will rank, and it'll rank well. Like if you have the highest click-through rate with the highest time on page, it'll rank the best, theoretically. Gone are the days where you just stuff keywords on the pages and they rank well. But a page does have to have a keyword focus or a topic focus so that Google knows or search engines know what the page is about. So that's where this SEO tab helps, making sure you have your focus keyword in all the areas where it's needed. But really, you have to make sure your content is readable. That's the number one most important thing. So we have our basic SEO. Try to make sure they're all check marks. Like I said, it's not important that they, that they all are check marks, but just do your best to make them all check marks while keeping your content natural. And that's also easier. One more thing, sorry. There's so much to do with SEO. The, getting these check marks is also much, much easier when your content is longer. 
Here it says content should be 600 to 2,500 words. If you're up to 2,500 words, it's easy to hit all the check marks and still be natural. It's really hard to hit all the check marks and make the writing read naturally with only 600 words. So the longer your content is, the easier it'll be to hit the, all these check marks. Okay, I can't close that tab. There we go. Here's a list of additional SEO recommendations. We're not gonna go through all of them in this tutorial. This tutorial is just to show you the functionality inside Elementor now. I'll have a full tutorial on how to use Rank Math in the near future. Title readability. This is helping you make the title more readable because the title has to do two things. It has to tell search engines what it's about by including the keywords. It has to be readable by users to tell them what it's about while also intriguing them and making them click on it. And it has to get a higher click-through rate than all the other ones on the search results page so that yours has the better chance of ranking. And that's what this checklist is helping you with. And I think I said it has to have two things. It's actually three. Content readability. This helps you make the content more readable because if someone is reading it and they don't understand it and they can't read it very well and there's long sentences and they're run-on sentences, they're not going to spend a lot of time on that content. This is helping you help the reader spend more time on your page, which is a good signal for Google. If you click on the gear icon, we now have some of the more technical backend stuff. Most commonly for most posts, you just have this checked and you don't check the others. Sometimes you'll check no index depending what the page content is, but mostly it stays on index, which is the default because you're creating content and you want it indexed in search engines. So this is usually what you'd be checking. Here's some more robots metadata. This is fine as defaults. If you don't know what these are, don't worry about it. You probably don't need them. If you want to know what they are, click the check or click the question mark, read through it. If you don't know what that means, Google it. A lot of information about all these things, but the defaults are just fine how they are. Canonical URLs for when you have similar pages on a site, but you really want Google to rank one of those pages. Say you have, can't think of an example at the top of my head, but say you're targeting very similar keywords with multiple different pages, and you just want one of them to be the focus. You don't want Google to, to consider the rest for ranking. You add a canonical URL, which basically is saying, this is the one I want to rank, if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. Google it. There's a lot more information about it out there. Schema types, which you see here, depending on what you choose, the options down below here will be slightly different. The article doesn't have a whole lot of settings, but if you go to recipe, for example, you have a lot more settings that you can set up for the recipe. And this will hopefully include content in the search results for you. If we go look up, say, for example, uh, peanut butter cookie recipe, because I love peanut butter, this is the schema markup right here. So we have four stars, 20 minute cook time. Uh, here we have 401 reviews, 200 calories. And these are the fields that you see right in here. Scroll down a bit. We have calories right here, preparation time, cooking time, total time, rating, min and max rating. You wanna keep it at one to five because that's what Google is indexing here for these ones. Um, that's the schema markup. Google is basically pulling this information from their source code. So they have this schema markup in their source code. Google pulls it and displays it here. So all these different types of schema that you have here, Google is pulling information into the search results to make what are called rich search results, which basically look better and are more engaging to users. So we have schema markup. And this one here is back to our snippet editor, our um, preview editor for the search results and the social stuff over here that we saw earlier. And that is how we do SEO inside of Elementor now with Rank Math. This is something I wish SEO Yoast had. It is something I made a tutorial on for SEO Yoast a long time ago, um, earlier in 2019, how to do SEO with Elementor and SEO Yoast. And you have to always swap back and forth between tabs and save things, refresh things, go back and forth. It's, it's a real pain. This is way easier. I was hoping SEO Yoast would create this, but Rank Math created it. And good for them because this is going to get them a lot more users. And Rank Math right now is my go-to SEO plugin. I've got a whole playlist up here, which I'm going to be filling up with Rank Math tutorials. So make sure you check that playlist. So if you want to get Rank Math, transferring from your existing plugin, like SEO Yoast or All-in-One SEO, to Rank Math and transferring all the data over is one click. They have a one-click import wizard built into Rank Math, so it's really easy to switch. So check out those tutorials to see if Rank Math is something you'd like. I've got a bunch of comparison tutorials as well, comparing it to other SEO plugins. 
If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass, and until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.